so when basic uh, this metallic oxide will uh, react with acid it will form salt and h2o example is co plus hcl will give you cacl2 which is a salt and h2o clear yes yes ma'am okay now over here remember one thing metallic oxide are basic in nature and non metallic are acidic in nature so over here what is happening metallic oxide will react with acid but non metallic acid uh, non metallic oxide will be reacting with base clear yeah? yes no saina Saima, can you hear me? Uh, Saima, can you hear me? Uh, Saima, can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Saima, you lost networks or something? Yes, ma'am. Okay, okay. Yes. Okay. So over here, what I was telling you, I was telling you the difference between metallic oxide and non-metallic metallic oxide, right? So metallic oxides are basically basic in nature and non metallic are basically acidic in nature so over here only metallic oxide reacts with acid because they are basic right 
you will never see metallic oxides are reacting with base because they are already basic right but over here non metallic acid react with bases not with acids because they are already already acidic so they don't react with acid they only react with base clear so non metallic oxides are acidic in nature non metallic oxide plus base will give you salt and h2 and this is the exam clear yes ma'am okay quickly write it down then we'll discuss uh, some examples Done. Okay. After this, this is basically over here. It's a, a series reaction of acid, metal carbonate. If it will react with metal carbonate, it will fall salt. A salt in this with metal. This metal hydrogen carbon, metal oxide base, metal everything we have done. And the reaction of this is basically a flow chart 
where just for the quick revision. Like, do you want to write it or you are okay because we have already discussed everything? What do you feel? It's okay. It's okay, right? Because you have already written. So I think from there you can revise. But if you want to revise it for, because over there we have written so many examples. <laughs> Sorry. So this is basically the thing, which is basically the revision thing for the student. But you can revise it from there as well. Okay. Now, why do all acidic uh, acids and <laughs> okay? What do all acids and base have in common? Okay, so over here, this is there is some commonality which common things between acid and base. First is all acids have H plus ions in common. Acids produce H plus ions in solution, which are responsible for their acidic properties. And coming to base, base have OH ions, which is hydroxyl ions in common. So all acid they have H plus and all bases they have OH minus ions. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah. Then acid or base in water solution, right? So over here, when you are going to add it in the water, what will happen? So acid produces H plus ions in presence of water. H plus ions cannot exist alone. They exist at H3O plus, right? So over here they need something hydro and hydro onion ions. Right, so hydronion ion is basically over here, something else is with it. So they cannot exist independently. So it's like H plus plus H2O, so it will give you this. HCl plus H2O, it will give you this, right? But coming to base, they get dissolved in the water and give OH minus. Like NaOH, when you will mix it with H2O, it will give you Na plus OH because it gets dissolved, right? And similarly with his. Over here, bases soluble in water are called alkali. So whenever you're getting a word alkali, that means in this solution, bases are being mixed with the water. Now, while diluting acid, very, very important part. While diluting the acid, it is recommended that acid should be added to water and not water to acid. The question is very, very important, right? So sometimes what they recommend, acid should be added to water, not water to. For example, this is a glass of water. So over here, Instead of pouring water to acid, what should you do? Acid should be added to water. You add acid. Why? Because the process of dissolving an acid or a base in water is exothermic. So when you add water in an acid, it catches fire sometimes. The exothermic process is there. Right? So that's why you should always, like everyone recommend you, you should add acid to water, not water to acid. Clear? Yes. So adding water to acid is wrong. But adding acid to water is right. If water is added to acid, the heat generated may cause the mixture to splash out and cause burns and the glass containers may also break due to excessive local heating. Clear? So adding of water to acid, it can cause mixture to splash out and break the glass container. Mixing an acid or a base with H2O result in decrease of concentration of ions. Per unit volume, such process is called dilution. So over here, no matter, for example, in a base, you have 4 OH negative. When you will add it with uh, water, you will have 2 left. It will always decrease, right? Similarly, if you have H plus 5 H plus ions, when you will add it with water, you will only, there will be only 3. So that means there is always basically the decrease of concentration of ions, which is basically, this process is known as dilution. D for decrease and this for D for dilution. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so first you will write what do all acids and bases have common? So all acids are this and this. You will write and then you will write this acid or base in a water solution. So this happened and then you will mark it very, very important and then you will write this. And then the reason why it should not be added and if it is added, what will happen? Clear? Yes, ma'am.
Ma'am, can you scroll down?
Um, can you scroll down? Thank you, Scola.
Then, Mom. Okay. Now, let's just move to the next one, which is basically the strength of acid and base. So, strength of acid and the base can be estimated using universal indicator. Okay. So, what is this universal indicator? Universal indicator is basically the pH scale. So, universal indicator is a mixture of several indicators. It shows different colors at different concentration of H plus ions in the solution. So, pH scale, a scale for measuring H plus ions concentration in a solution. P in the pH stands for potence, a German word which means power. So, over here, if you want to know whether this acid is strong or weak, you can use pH. So, if pH after is 7, that is basically the neutral solution. It is not acidic nor it is neither acidic nor basic. But if pH is less than 7, it is acidic solution. And if pH is more than 7, then it is basic solution. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, remember one thing. On diluting an acid, pH increases. Okay. Because as I told you, when you will dilute it, means you are going to mix it with water. So, over here, what will happen? Uh, the concentration of H plus will come down. Okay. So, pH increases. Right? So, it is like if it is 1, it will increase. And on diluting the base, pH decreases. Clear? Yes, ma'am. Now, importance of pH in our daily life. Like how we use this pH thing. So, plants and animals are pH sensitive. Right? And pH of soil. So, plants and animals are pH sensitive. So, our body works within the pH range of 7 to 7.8. So, in our body, our body is basically in between 7 to 7.8. If you will increase it, you will face problem. If you will decrease it, you will face problem. So, it ranges between 7 to 7.8. And when pH of the rain is less than 5.3, it is called acidic rain because less than 7 is acidic. So, if it is less than 5.6, then it is basically known as acidic rain. Then pH of soil, plant require a specific pH range for its healthy growth. Right? So, over here, they should also maintain the pH value. Clear? And then... Yes. pH in our digestive system, right? You know, in our <laughs> digestive system, we have HCl, right? So, our stomach produces HCl acid, which helps in digestion. During indigestion, in stomach produces more acidic and cause pain and irritation. To get rid of this pain, people use anti acid, which is milk based, like milk of magnesia and neutralized excess acid. So, over here, pH is also mentioned. If you will have acid, more of acid in your stomach, then you will face problem. And over there, what we eat, we eat eno and all that thing. So, this is basically to reduce the effect of acid. Then, pH changes as cause of tooth decay. Very, very important. So, tooth decay start when pH of the mouth is lower than 5.5. One marker question. When tooth decay will start? So, when from 5.5, your the pH will be low in your teeth. It will cause the decaying. Tooth enable made up of calcium phosphate, hardest substance in our body does not dissolve in water, but corrodes when pH is lower than. So over here, if your pH is low, it will dissolve. But if your pH is high, like it is not less than 5.5, then it will not erode. But once it is low, then it will start eroding and it will lead to tooth decay. Using toothpaste, generally the basic toothpaste we use. Tooth decay can be prevented. Clear? Yes, ma'am. And then self-defense by animal and the plant through the chemical warfare. Have you ever seen there's a bee sting? Right? So when bee stings, there is basically the reaction in our hands and we feel itching, itching and uh, some rashes are there. So bee sting leaves an acid which cause pain and irritation. Use of milk base like baking soda on stung area gives relief. Right? So it is basically they relieve, they uh, release acid. And when you will put some basic over there, basic thing, you will get relief. And staining here of nettle leaves inject methanoic acid. So, which acid? Very, very important. Methanoic acid causing burning sensation or pain. Rubbing with leaf or dog plant gives relief. So, over here, when you rub it with leaf or there is a dog plant which is basic in nature, that will give you relief. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So, first you will write this. Universal indicator. Then you will write this and then this part. Okay. Then after this, on diluting this part. And then importance of pH in our daily life. For animal, this is the importance. The animal includes us as well. Then soil, this is basically important. Then digestive system, this is important. And for uh, this, is important. Okay? And for self-defense also.
Ma'am, can you scroll down? Ma'am, uh, the base part, can you show? Uh, sorry? Which no, one? This, uh, this weak base, strong base. Uh, think it, this, this one, uh, this guy, right? This, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, can you scroll down? Okay, you can just write this as I take this diagram. Okay, and then you can start with importance. Okay, so that means uh, if acid increases, that means increase in H plus ions and basic increases, that is decrease in H plus ions. Okay. Okay, ma'am.
Mam, can you scroll down? 